All right, welcome back, everybody. This recap here for this Thursday, May 18th, 2023. Thursdays, as you know, if you've been following me for a while, are one of my favorite days. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button. That's one way you can support my channel. Also, if you hit that notification bell, we will keep you updated on any new videos that are coming out as well as these uh, daily recaps. Okay, so uh, I wanted to show you a trade here on the E-mini S&P because it's a very unique pattern setup uh, that I think you're gonna find quite fascinating. I understand you don't understand how these patterns are set up. That's something I teach in my courses, but uh, I just wanted to show that the HF1 is typically gonna be my strongest pattern, all right? Uh, this, this particular pattern can hit anywhere between 75 to 80% of the time in terms of it hitting its target. In this case, of course, it failed. It did not hit its target. But what's unique about this particular setup is that this HF1 that failed turned around and had a second HF1, okay, that followed the first one. That is very rare. Typically, I don't see that. Typically, what I see is I see uh, like an HF3 or maybe a pairing coming after an HF1, all right? But when I get an HF1 after my first HF1, that's a very rare occurrence and I am going to get aggressive with it, okay? That can also be the same on a short if I if, or on a buy. If I get an HF1 buy and that fails and I get another HF1 short, okay, I'm going to aggressively take that. But at the same time, if the HF1, the first HF1 hit target and then I get another one, that's still a strong setup. Okay, so it can hit its target. It doesn't matter whether the first one hits its target or not. I mean, we like to see it hit its target. But that second one that comes in after the first one, now there can't be any of the patterns in between. So if I get that second one, whether this one, this first one hit its target or did not hit its target, that second one is always going to be a strong trade. And that's why I got so aggressive on it. And, of course, you can see it did finally take off, and it did hit my target up here. All right, so it hit my target. Once I hit target number one, like I said, with these indices, I am getting out. And, of course, you know, we had a, a really nice day today overall until towards the end of the day, around noon or something. It it pulled back down and went back up. Got a little volatile there. But overall, very strong day. And um, that first target, it didn't take. But uh, when we get into this thing, we got into this thing around... 1017 and I finally hit my target up here around 1034 so not you know 15 minutes a little bit more than 50 minutes or so so not a bad trade all right so overall very good uh, not a you know nothing really thrilling with the uh, the mini Russell the mini Russell also was an HF1 buy did not ever get a short okay so we had a buy there I like it when the indices are all setting up on the same side so once again that's the other thing I like to see. The E-mini is showing strength. I'm getting a pattern, and I see the same thing in the mini Russell and or the mini Dow. I really like those trades, all right, because they tend to correlate, and we know that. So love to see that, and that's why I got so aggressive with this is because I did see the uh, the mini Russell coming in for a buy. It had not hit. It hit after I got into the E-mini, but it was certainly uh, getting close to setting up a really nice HF1, and it did, and then, of course, it it took off. It's a really nice trade. So um, anyway, so let's see. I have a good day in stocks. Let's take a look at our stock trades. All right, so here's our stock trades. Uh, I wanted to show JDST. If you've been watching me for a while, you know my favorite stock right now is JDST. Certainly didn't disappoint this morning. If you were watching us during the first hour, I did take JDST. And uh, as it was going flat, if you recall, I said I'm waiting till after the opening bell that I should see a burst and see this thing move much higher. And that's exactly what happened. So uh, I bought in here on JDST. I did add, I think I also mentioned that I was adding on JDST as it was... It was um, it got started going flat here, so I started adding into JDST. Uh, it did um, pre-opening. It did hit two levels, okay? So we hit level one and level two, but it was still very quiet, as you can see here. And then as soon as the market opened up, then it really took off and finally hit level three. And that is when I got out um, once we hit that third level. I believe, yeah, that was also within that first hour trading this morning. So just a beautiful trade on JDST, just textbook. 
Um, HF1 buy, like I said, love my HF1 buys. Three levels, hit that third level, and then once it hit that third level, I went ahead and took my profit, and I did not get back in. Everything else, just, you know, just kind of, um, I hit them getting out, uh, WLGS, uh, GSIT, that was a big one today, a lot of people watching, uh, GSIT. Got in a little late on that, if I watched it earlier in the, in the morning, I probably could have gotten into it, but, um, uh, anyway, I just see a nice little setup, it was, I only had one pattern setting up, and, uh, so I jumped in and got out of that, uh, ENVB, same thing, and, uh, GDC, all right, so, uh, a nice day after the, uh, my <laughs> disaster trade yesterday. So a nice recovery. I don't know if I've fully covered my loss from yesterday. Well, I should have. Let me see here. I should have fully recovered it. Uh, I believe that I did. But anyway, um, nice day. Once again, remember, Thursdays are always just awesome. Now, of course, coming up on Friday, it's, it's coin flip. It can be really, really good or it can be really bad. So we're just going to have to watch and we can usually get some indication of that uh, pre-market, what kind of day it's going to be. Uh, everything was screaming. I think it was something like um, 70 some percent before the market opened, 70 percent of the stocks were advancing. I mean, it was it was pretty high. Um, and that finally it did taper down as we moved into the day. But um, a lot of times we can see by the kind of action that's coming in on a Friday, whether we're going to have a big day or not. And also depends on whether we have some reports coming out. I think there may be a report coming out tomorrow. I have to double check. But anyway, uh, that's some sort of indication of whether Fridays are going to be a good day or not. But don't shy away from Fridays. I know a lot of people say, I just don't want to trade on Fridays. You know, when I went back and looked at my Friday trades, um, I would, uh, I am still ahead by trading on Friday. So, um, before you just say, I'm just not going to trade on Fridays, if you have traded on Fridays, look at your results. If Fridays, for some reason, are not working for you in the way that you trade, then don't trade them. Um, but um, but in most cases, you just can't predict like that, okay? Um, so it's better just kind of watch, come in, see what the action is. If everything looks like it's you're going to have good action, at least in the morning, that's going to last for at least an hour or so. At least on a Friday, okay. Now, yeah, it may go dead later on in the afternoon, but but even on a early morning, even in the, on a Friday, um, if you see a lot of um, a lot of volume on some of these stocks and you see some activity going on before the uh, pre-opening or before the opening bell, then yeah, I mean you can have some really nice trade setups. So we're just gonna have to watch it in the morning and see what happens. And so that's gonna wrap it up. Got one more day Friday for the uh, before the weekend. So hopefully tomorrow morning we'll have a really nice, uh, really nice day. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, come to our website, innovatortradingstrategies.com. I am available if you need to talk to me or if you need to uh, um, send me your question, you can do that through the contact tab. And also check out all my videos uh, on uh, YouTube, Innovative Trading Strategies. And folks, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.